Yeah, it's a, a open source animation tool yeah. from Airbnb. Yeah. So quite a lot of cool things. So how can it be used in your project? If you want to do this, and if you are doing web, there should be no problem. But how about desktop? So that's the thing that I want to share. Yeah. How powerful will you UWP app with uh, Lean UI and Windows Community Toolkit? Yeah, you can search this too. So if you want to do fanciful desktop app, so Win UI and Microsoft Windows Community Toolkit. This is this three D animation is exactly the three D apps that you are building. Okay, just input directly into the UWP model, which is this one. If you want to do this thing, you want to do another the uh, app, they will be a bit challenging. Mm. Okay, but this is the native app that um that's straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. Without it, maybe when you test, you go to browser and you start the URL or you use Postman. Mm -hmm. oh, but that is quite powerful. But with this, you can actually click it. Oh, so it off. Then the result is here. Whoa. Everything yeah. inside. Everything you can Yeah. Otherwise, for example, it's a, it's a tool for to speed up your deployment. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, yeah. Go back and forth. And sometimes you go for to using Postman, then you keep one thing wrong, then <laughs> arguing that sometimes standardized and put on pages and so on. Yeah. So so far, share about how to use and so on. Yes. Now come to the real thing: data storage. So where to post your data? One way is to produce Microsoft SQL and there, there's an Azure version, it's called Azure SQL. So how, how to optimize it? Because 
example, now, now they have count like the call uh, by call uh, and other count by individual. Uh, which one is much more better? Or this way to count by call? Count by uh, count by possibly count by possibly your you are pretty on the end. There, there, there are two types of SKR uh, the, the payments. The payment one is one is premium and one is uh, because there are two types. Uh, count by decal one uh, and another one is count by yeah that is the oh. the one the uh. new one general purpose or hyperscale. Yeah, yeah, another one is count by the DT. Yeah, DT. So basically, the call one, the call one is essentially based on it's a mod at the end. They calculate the process, uh, assign hundred processing power for you. Mm. Okay. So basically, the DTU is a very comprehensive calculation that um that Microsoft will make to, to to how to charge you on your uh, uh, allocate the performance for you. So it's and the call the call one is more on the um toward the virtualization way to provide you the sequence uh sequence tool. But for low usage like our company one still on we still work on this DTU yeah. 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 Currently we are on S3 I think. S3 already. No, one, one month only 100 plus. Uh -huh. S3 is here. Data is making a lot of money. I want to show you. Yeah, I want to go S3. Ah, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, USD. Ah, uh, USD. <laughs> <laughs> it's around 500. That one is one SQL only, uh, 134. Yeah, yeah. Right. You really have multiple. But they want to only apply to one project. Uh. And then now we have more than one more than software. Yeah. But, yeah. but but is it faster if you like for example you apply for just let's say hundred DTU, this one is called hundred DTU. This one hundred, yeah. If you scale up then you hundred DTU. I mean what is the different like I got ten DTU and hundred DTU. First one is the con uh, concurrent connection, you got increased like for example you have a lot of traffic yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of traffic. Then you increase it. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So we will check the DTU usage of the yeah, database. Mm -hmm. Then you will automatically increase it. Then. But they, they automatically scale? Yeah, automatically scale for data. Mm -hmm. But I think. Oh, then at night we will scale it down. That is why we are moving this <coughs> way to, to, to crowd. The advantage is that we can scale up. We have on demand scale up and scale down or scale up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like um uh, like uh should say that at night that we are then we are not virtually no traffic, okay? <laughs> so we just say even if it's a hundred we can scale it out all the way down to ten, okay? Uh, to save that travel process of eight hours uh, process money, uh, because the urgent urgent charges is charging you by minute. Yes, yes. Okay, so the, every single minute you save that you are it, 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 it's a silly. Yeah, and to do that you can use this automation account. There's a long tutorial on Microsoft that will initiate. How, how, how to make it all everything. You can scale you can scale your VM also. Or database, yeah. app service, everything actually at home. So yeah, almost everything that you can scale from your web services, from your database, from the IoT hub, uh, I think that everything you can scale like that. Automation account. Yeah, automation account. So which is like you can set <coughs> set the criteria, the threshold which to where, then you need to like uh Scale up to increase the performance, or even that you want to spin off another VM to mm. handle the handle the load. It's also can. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> but th this thing is very useful if you are like you need a high traffic volume insert read it. I don't know. High speed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, high speed. Yeah. High speed. Yeah. High speed. Yeah. So we are using this for GPS location and the like chat messaging. Oh. Yeah. And for no those unstructured data also. Like. 
what structure data you have to use uh, SQL. You can you can put here also. But unstructured data definitely cannot go SQL. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, it can you can set as okay, okay. Yeah, you put as a string as good. Yeah. Like a unique tool. So this one is very expensive, but it can scale globally. So for a solution if you want to go global, it's a good way to go. And now they are going to version three already because that's Yes, even more powerful now. You can write SQL to directly SQL to pagination and so on. And there are just two tools uh, SQL Manager Studio, you all know. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. And Angel Data Studio. Your friend Ang Kyung showed me. <laughs> showed me last time. I think it was a good Angel, yeah. What else is it? It looks cooler. It looks cooler than the. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, I think uh, it has access more other than the SQL data. Yeah, the SQL data and the is pretty old tools like from the from the stone age. Right? So can AB right? Can AB has data 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 table? Yeah. Oh, everything can do it. Just like SQL. Yeah. Uh, this one I cannot do. You cannot do my company. Yeah, you can do almost everything. Almost everything. Sure. It's something like a visual code. Maybe. You can access this uh, Azure Storage Explorer, you can access to the block storage, you can access to the table storage that are in you store in the block storage. So um, it's quite a logical tool, uh, very powerful. Cosmos or what? Cosmos also cannot. I didn't think so. But anything that in the block storage you know. This Cosmos also. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Okay, this one is my company one. Yeah, this one you see, yeah, it's our GPS all that stored there. So, and yeah, attachment and all that. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what <laughs> But you get the basic idea and so on. No, not everything, but all of them. So later I will come back to this again, uh, why this one is very important. Then authenticate user with Microsoft Identity. Ah, this is another thing that I'm using. Yes, this is very cool now. Uh, because uh, I saw this. <laughs> oh, why not Jira? Later I go Google, then I know it's Jira. Yeah. So I like, oh, Jira. Yeah. And the guy is. The cross. <laughs> Microsoft Cloud. You can use it to log in the user and get their user profile, calendar, everything related to the user. So you don't need to reinvent your your login function and so on. Of course, you can use identity server. So uh, there's one thing that I would like to show is the project is here. Yeah, the project is here. It's overwritten in the shortcut. <laughs> the micro 
also clock in uh, this uh, this is where the place go called app registration. There's an old one, but now there's a new one. This one is my favorite. So there's a login that I do. So you can just create an app, then it will guide you through. Your email help you to set the settings for the tool. So like your app require login. So they have a lot of like if you are desktop, Android, iOS, or even website dot com or SG dot app. So once you once you click it, it will give you a project. Then you can directly run. consent and everything. So this is the cool thing about the Microsoft authentication and the graph API. Okay, so you can use it to once you get a token you can use it to get a user profile like name, image and so on. You have to use all of us. Yeah all all yeah. So here's the Microsoft all of us. Yeah. So other than like Google, Facebook, yeah all of them as well. They just just enable it. This one is the the guy. Yeah. 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 Any any free free yeah. one because testing I only test like uh, on 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 free one. Because I only send to my own info, I cannot. But next one, uh, uh, yeah, email I think you can use. Email is email is free. Email is free. SMTP. SMTP. Yeah, SMTP. Yeah. Uh, but the next thing is this one. Email or email. Yeah. But now integrate with WhatsApp and email. Yeah. I like video. So if you want to use SMS, there are tutorials for that. Okay. So people say Microsoft loves love open source. That's what I want to say. Okay, so this is uh it it deployed on Azure App Service, but it's a uh, built in GoLang. So no matter, so whatever I say just now, it seems like I always talk about .NET But if you know Node.js, Golang, Java, mm -hmm. PHP, Java actually not so <laughs> PHP, mm -hmm. Java I haven't tried But you can always deploy it And you can always do like yeah, Google authentication mm -hmm. And then, this is a tool that I built for fun And then you are look This is Vue.js, that's why you see the difference. Yeah, you will get the list. This list is not from YouTube, actually it's from database and it's called PostScript SQL. So if you are using PostScript SQL, it's available on Azure also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why if I do the search. So not necessarily you want to limit to one database. Uh. Mm. It's still on Microsoft technology, uh, so I, I didn't say I didn't want to use it. So when doing it with SQL is that sometimes you have this problem like you cannot connect. Uh. Actually I, I banged the wall for a few times when I use this. It's because uh, you need to set the IP address when you test locally, you set your home IP address. Uh, you can set from 0 to 255. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can access.
在呃，比如说前三页是 send， 比如说 account， 你会在这个 account 就是就是 send， 这样子，可能，你那边还有一个 account， 啊，他们都在手机里面的 account 的，啊，这边有蛮多少 account 的。Microsoft, they need a HTTPS, but you don't have, you don't need to buy any certificate now. They automatically Azure give you a HTTPS already. Mm -hmm. That's why how to do that is. Thank you. 
and <laughs> yeah, that's a thing to secure your API keys. Uh. And then connection string also, there's a connection string. Don't put it inside your code. And I realized if you follow Microsoft, yeah. some of their tutorials, yeah, put it here. Oh. They actually put inside the code because they only want to demo to you how it looks like. They also do it for free, but it's a name that you refer to it in your project. Mm -hmm. The value in the connection mm -hmm. string. So if someone get your code and run away, don't worry because they cannot access it. Mm. No worry, if there is someone running running away with your code, uh, with your key, <laughs> you can just be generated. Yes. <laughs> 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 you have a downtime for others. And then domain name. Okay, so just now, uh, this one, I'm using a custom domain name. How to do it? Also very simple. Buy it on this one. I buy on Google Day. Oh, you can use Office Three Six Five to buy it. Okay, then just add the custom domain to it. That's cool. Oh, you can buy it here also. Now I just have it. Yeah. So this This one thing that is very important is the application inside and the web console. Why is this so important? Because when you deploy your app on Azure, there's no way like you deploy on virtual machine, you can go in RDP in, then check, debug. This one you cannot log in. So there's one way is use application inside. If you use the line call, it's very simple. Just put one more line, then you could be the SDK and the key. What is the file being uploaded or some files that you see? Hey, how come it's missing? These are the way that for you to debug after you have finished your code. And then recently, they have this announcement, I think earlier this year. Actually, no, in 2017 already GA. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier this year, in Microsoft Ignite, they announced this again. It's a web app for containers. So now your container not necessarily need to go to AKS, you can go to web app also. So if you want to impress, you know, if your architecture requires uh, microservices, this is one way for you to go. Yeah, just create Docker file and so on. This, this three step basically is to build a container image and push it to a Docker worker hub. Yeah, over here. Then inside the Azure, then you can just directly deploy from Docker Hub. And it's very easy. You can run. Uh, there's one thing that uh, my friend wants to always ask me to share this whenever I share this is what is the meaning of restarting a container? 
So a lot of people think that restart is restart. No, actually restart is actually we will pull down the image again. Then regenerate everything. That means if you save your file inside the container, okay. when you press this, you want to know again. No. Yeah. That's why we use this. Then yeah, this is this. All your files is go here. Then store in container then later. Same as your VM, if you put under another drive, I think it's a problem. If you function, it's a very simple. You go to call function F. This this thing a very cute thing like command equals to do that. So you have you want to demo something, but you don't want to set up the whole server to to do it, or you want to. Uh, like for example, the website is only accessed like at a certain timing, but it's not accessed at all at, at another time. So there's no point for you to sell a whole VM or app service for that, because it costs money. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you, you need to manage the infra. So there's this thing called serverless. It's called Azure function. What it does is that you just run a piece of as the name says, just run a piece of function. So for example. This one is actually time trigger off. So this one is actually a function that's set by me to call something from the firebase. You get something from fire firebase on a certain timing. So if you have a scheduled job that you want to do like uh, use trigger to send SMS to snack at 12 a.m. something, <laughs> you can write your code here. Yeah. Then run you don't need to set up VM for that for that one for one. Then so you set a virtual machine and set a function, then it only you only pay when it's get, getting executed. Yeah. That's a it's by consumption base. Yeah. Another <laughs> thing that I use in my work for this is uh just for marketing. Mm -hmm. So because you know when you blast out EDM no one read one month, mm -hmm. they, they only read when you click on the thing. So you don't need to set up a website for that. Uh. So you set up here, then I put the HTML inside. So when they click the link, they only then the manager said, Oh, how come my marketing is so cheap? Yeah, no, because I use this. If I sell a VM for it, it's $18. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's something wrong, maybe. You should like, sell another company, right? outsource them, and then <laughs> depend on it's cheaper than the original one, but it's cheaper by 50% still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, next time, okay, next time say, say yes. quick, what? It's on quick. video, by the way. Actually, Azure Function is very powerful. Yeah. It's very, very powerful. I already teach all the all the web uh, all the web services to use the Azure function for all my uh, for ninety ninety percent of my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, one more thing you have to add in the Azure function is there are two type of uh, building. One is the uh, mm -hmm. based on your web services uh, charging rate. The other mm -hmm. one is based on the consumption. Okay, so um, depend on your usage. If you even though you know that your web uh, your Azure function is very very low serving, uh, low consumption, mm -hmm. actually you can consider you say consumption because consumption they have about two hundred thousand for free call. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's very cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. Another thing is uh, when we use it uh, the trigger. Cosmos DB trigger in yeah. this area yeah. function. So something happened in Cosmos, some, some changes happen in document, then you can trigger it. So yeah. instead of writing an API for that, you just use Azure function. Yeah. Schedule job, or you want to trigger by a certain HTTP call, mm -hmm. or by another. Or you can, like, you are expecting some email, okay, you can, like, use the Azure function to scan your email. And then once you get your email, it's such a keyword coming in, and then you just can trigger another trigger that to send you SMS. <laughs> I think there is people using Flow. Yeah, your, your app and developer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or back code also can. Yeah. So a lot of us are using here. And you can develop the Azure function on VS also. Yeah. He's using a uh, he's using oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the browser base. Yeah. I'm using a uh, on the visual base. Ah, visual studio. Yeah, yeah, to do that. Then you can commit. 
Yeah, this part I showed you. And then, uh, I think virtual machine. Okay. So <laughs> in case your project is so special, for example, see, I want to bring it in. No, but if you do something fun, for example, do you know what is called fun? Uh, Grafana is actually an open source uh, platform for reporting and impressing boss. So <laughs> when Power BI cannot satisfy them or use this, no, in case you want to do the reporting, and it's a really a powerful thing for analytics and monitoring. Okay, I show you in VM. Uh, Why in each VM? Because there are two ways of installing it. One way is through VM. Another way is to host it on their on their server. This one is a fully open source one, so you can post it on your server. Cool thing about it is it even includes Azure Monitor. Yeah. So you can do all sorts of reporting here in case your solution needs reporting. There's one tool that you can try it out. But you have to run it on VM and expose the port to all the things outside. Fundamental like, deployment coding, and the next one we are move on to like how to be get smarter for our app. Yeah. Okay, so 